boat race, bucket toss, water slide. You've got everything you need. Yeah. <laughs> the dunk booth? <laughs> Actually, I think I can help you there. Got it after the fair closed down. <sighs> yeah. Mind if we borrow it? Well, only if you invite me to your fair. <laughs> wow! That's the most wonderful dunk booth I've never ever seen! Problem lies, George. Yep, thought so. It's your hinge, all right. Rusted stiff. Hmm. Huh? Hinges are very important. They're what let things open and close. Like the ones on this door. <laughs> Hinges even help you get around. Like your knees and your elbows, even your fingers. All hinge joints. But fingers won't help with a dunk booth. We need a real hinge. You found a hinge. <laughs> Guess what I brought? Uh, <gasps> it's a dunk booth? I'm going in. This is it. Okay, George, have at it. <laughs> Don't worry. Try again. You can do it. Dunk him, dunk Hit him. the target, George! Oh, George! Yeah. Holy cow! The pigs! Affair. You don't mind if we pitch in with a little music? Oh. Um, George, you guys remember me? <laughs> Watch and learn, Mrs. Rankins, because if you got it, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Just warming up. Concentrate now, George. Eye on the target. Come on, George. You can do it.
Our final event is Midnight Alarm. It's a humdinger. Whoever wins, wins the muster. This game tests each team's response to a surprise nighttime emergency. When the alarm sounds, each team must put on their gear, attach their hose to their truck, and run it all the way to the other side of that hill and shoot it off. Oh, oh yeah, 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 we're gonna win. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 yeah. got this one. Okay, night, night, everyone. <laughs> Shortcut, George. <laughs> Yellow ready. Turn on the hose now. Hurry. Turn it on. Red ready. So darn close. Congratulations, Stig. Hang tight, boy. We're going to need a long ladder. It's too short. We should get our ladder truck from the city. Oh, that'll take hours. George knew Blaze couldn't wait for hours. Okay, it's set up. Come on, Blaze. So, the winner of this year's Fireman's Muster is... The Town Volunteers! What? Oh, 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 you get extra points for a real rescue. It's in the rules. Here you go! <gasps> a muster tests who's best prepared for an emergency. And today, that was you. We only brought a truck and a ladder. You brought the monkey. Well, Neptune's Knickers. <laughs> well, thank y'all. And thank you, George.
Now all he had to do was pull the string at 4 a.m. and... <laughs> How was George going to pull the string if he was asleep? <laughs> the heavy book could fall on the string. That would open the flap. But now George needed something to push the book so that it could pull the string. His toy truck could push the book. truck to go. George needed something to make the truck start moving and move at the right time. The ringer hit the bells when the alarm went off. Could the ringer push the truck? <laughs> George's wake-up machine was set to go. Just in time, he was tired. <sighs> but it was hard to sleep with the tube of balls hanging over his head. George decided to watch from the sidelines. <laughs> George's wake-up machine was even better than he'd imagined. But now George was really tired. He didn't see the harm in closing his eyes for just a minute. The birds were tired too, and they couldn't sleep with that snoring. George hadn't overslept. Now he had two ways to get up. A wake-up machine, and wake up birds. Oh, wow. <gasps> hey, George, I think you got something. George was ready for his very first Hamilton sleepover. <laughs> you know, George, not every animal likes to be picked up like a little monkey. Yeah, maybe we should make him a bed down here so we don't have to carry him upstairs. Aww. 
Say goodnight, George. <laughs> Don't worry, George. You can have more fun with Hamilton tomorrow. <laughs> but George didn't really have fun with Hamilton. And now, they weren't even having a sleepover. George wondered why the day hadn't gone better. But there were a lot of things George wondered about. Like how those baby owls could eat a worm. Yeah. Owls must just be different than monkeys. Maybe that was it. George was caring for Hamilton like he was a little monkey instead of a little pig. <laughs> George remembered that Hamilton liked drinking from a bottle. Nope, not hungry. George wished he knew what Hamilton wanted. <laughs> Mr. Rankin's list. Maybe that had the answer. <laughs> that was the problem. Little pigs liked being cozy and warm. <laughs> It worked. George finally slept, thinking of all the fun he and Hamilton would have together tomorrow, little piggy style. Before George knew it, <laughs> Hamilton was big and strong, and it was time to take him home. <laughs> you did a fine job raising Hamilton, George. Now we just have to see if his brothers and sisters will accept him. George had done it. He had raised a pig. Okay, George, time to go. <laughs> had Hamilton forgotten George? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs>